Hello. Blind Pew here. My ship, the Star Chaser, and my motley crew are on our way to the recently discovered megaship, the Zerera, deep inside the Formidine Rift. For my previous transmission, leading up to this journey, click on the link on screen, now. Our aim, is to uncover further details of the galactic conspiracy, that has been revealed to us recently. For details of what we have so far discovered about this conspiracy, click on the link on screen, now. We have just left the inhabited bubble so for now I, Blind Pew, my chief of engineering, Ben Gunn. Hi there. The work experience boy, a Swaldo Parsons. Hi there. And, against my will, my chief of communications, Jed Munoz. Hello there. Will press on. We have a long distance to travel. Okay, we've reached the nearest neutron star. This ship is fitted to travel the whole way using neutron stars, to boost our jump range to beyond 200 light years a jump. This is an unusual one, being so close to a normal star. A welcome change. Plum in the next jump from the Spanch neutron star highway planner whilst we scan the neutron star. With the modified fast scanner, that did not take long. Incidentally, link to the Spanish planner in the text accompanying this transmission. Not forgetting to quickly scan the system. And into the jet stream, to supercharge the frame shift drive. Warning, frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frame shift drive supercharged. There we go, immediately spool up the frame shift drive. The key to fast travel is to get this process down to an efficient and short routine. Although my frame shift drive is taking damage, it will need repairs at some point. I must say, that there seem fewer chain neutron stars in this direction. So I'm having to resort to, normal, travel at times, Pew. unlike when I recently traveled from Colonia to the bubble. Ahead we can just make out the heart and soul nebula marking the borders of the Formidine Pew. Rift, Ben. Feels like we have been here too many times. Indeed, Pew. Pew. It is me, Jet Munoz, you know, the galaxy wide famous explorer. I've just popped up from my cabin to highlight that you may be seeing the Heart and Soul Nebulas soon, probably something you lowly cargo pilots never usually see. Oh no. No way, Jet. I had to tolerate that when you were paying, or rather pretending to pay, me for the journey. Now that the court has ruled you are to become my temporary, and I stress the temporary, communications officer, I'm not taking that. You are banned from the bridge of this ship. If I see you on here again I will maroon you on the nearest planet. I see. You. Professional jealousy is it? As you can see, we will soon be approaching the edge of the formidable rip pew. Can you give me a position update, Ben, if you wouldn't mind? We are just about to pass, underneath the heart, and soul, nebula, pew. So, we will be entering the Formidine Rift proper, imminently then. That's right. Not too much further to the Ephods region and the abandoned settlements then. Where we plan to stop on the way to the Zurera. No, not far now. And so here we are in the system of one of the abandoned settlements. Each has an unregistered communications beacon like this. We hope that will allow us to find the settlements, and uncover more of this galactic conspiracy. So we've arrived at the Alpha Settlement. Completely abandoned. It's on the edge of a rather precarious cliff, and it looks like there has been some subsidence, so we need to be careful. I'll scan any communications, and transmit them to you Ben. In the Star Chaser, prepare to receive. Standing by. Expedition Mug. Why the hell are we out here? No one seems to know. 
It's taken months and still we're not there. Wherever there is, we're dropping these beacons. Supposedly nobody knows what they're for. If they do they ain't telling. Makes no sense, there's nothing out there. And who would come all this way anyway? We're still traveling. Jump drive malfunction today, that made an interesting diversion. It's going to take a while to fix. This area of space is G me out. Could have I heard some weird voices in the last jump. We are a long way from home. We're struggling to plot a course now. We're leaving the galactic arm and the jumps are getting longer. Finally fixed the drive, more monotony. Can't believe it's nearly six months since we set out from Reed Quat. Did I say Reed Quat? I meant Rowart. It's getting to me, this endless emptiness. The guys are showing the strain. Three more months before we can turn and head back. The stars are thinning out, you can see the whole galaxy just hanging there. The darkness grows. The galaxy is faint and dim behind us. I'm told this place has been nicknamed the Formidine Rift. Apparently that means fear in some old Earth language. It's an apt name, some of the guys are going space crazy out here in the void. We had to sedate one guy, he went completely dually. We've not seen another soul for weeks. Just us and this ship. Alone. In the darkness. I'm scared. Help me someone. I can't bear another jump. The lights in which space are coming for me. The lights. Always the lights. They're calling to me. A siren song. I must join them. Automated telemetry report. Canopy blast bolts activated. Life support malfunction. Crew vital signs terminated. Ship systems engage in standby mode. Distress beacon activated. Well, that sounds rather macabre. The implication from that is that the crew went space crazy and topped themselves. Unless the lights in which space were real. Is there a data point to scan down there, Pew? Yes, there is, but it is a little bit difficult to get to. See what I mean? And I can't seem to get a signal off it. Let's try again. There. No, still nothing. Annoying as it was worth about 10 million credits. Perhaps it was damaged in the subsidence. Prepare the ship Ben, we need to head off, to find the beta site. Okay, I've spotted the beta site. Ben and Estwaldo, bring the star chaser to my location, so I can dock before you land. Right, I'm headed down in the SRV. I'll scan any messages, and transmit them back to the star chaser. Prepare to receive them Ben. I'm on it Pew. And, I suppose, Temporary Communications Officer, Jed Munoz. Preparing to be the first discoverer, Pew. For mid and rift beat the mission expedition log. Been traveling for weeks. Passed this amazing twin nebula just recently, about the only interesting sight on this whole trip. We are a long way out now. I don't think anyone else has been this far. Still, pay is good. Stars have thinned out and we've started dropping our cargo. Looks like some kind of long range beacon to me. It's all hush hush, no questions asked stuff. Heard some of the senior boards talking about a dynasty project. Careless talk and all that. Nothing prepared me for the boredom. It's very dark out here. Really dark. Darker than normal space. There's hardly any stars ahead of us, 
it's just blackness. The void picked up some kind of signal yesterday and it looks like the crew weren't expecting it. Got them proper rattled. There's definitely something very strange about this area of space. Won't be sad to turn around and head home. Last batch of cargo due today, but the hyperdrive has malfunctioned. We try jumping and got yanked straight back out. So we're stuck here, random is nowhere. We can't fix it. Hyperdrive is dead. Lucky we're in a system with a habitable world. We've sent a distress call but who knows if anyone will hear it. We're going to abandon ship. If anyone finds this, we're in automated telemetry report, power failure. Did you get that Ben, and Jed, the dynasty project, again, and a sense, that someone was following them, alien, or unknown human faction? Creepy. More evidence that this unknown faction, with huge resources, was making plans to exit human space, if, and when, the unknown threat arrives. Creepy. On the positive side, I can report that there is a data point. So let's scan it. Sterling. 7 million credits. I will say, this stop off at the abandoned settlements is taking longer than I expected, so I'll stop our transmission here, but I will transmit our trip to the second to in a separate transmission during the course of this week, if, in the end, I can be bothered, so stay tuned. For now, on to the Delta settlement. Good luck commanders, and I'll see you out there.